Well, thank you so much, Sarah. I don't know whose this is. Is this your, it's, it's yours, Tony? Uh-huh. Check that. I'll bring it back up if I can remember. Sarah, I was incredibly impressed as you were reading, uh, strike that, as you were giving your speech. So I sort of snuck a look around and saw the teleprompter, but you gave it so flawlessly that it looked as if you had nothing there. So congratulations to you. We are very, very proud of you and all the students here at the University of Maryland that you represent. I'm going to take off Terrapin Strong for just a minute, Mr. President. Uh, I am so pleased to be here with my two colleagues uh, who are such strong supporters of the University of Maryland. Uh, our senior senator, Senator Cardin, and our junior senator, but a member of the Appropriations Committee, <laughs> which makes him very senior in my eyes, Senator Chris Van Allen, and, of course, Senator Jim Rosepep, who represents us in the state senate, the former ambassador uh, to Romania. So thank you, Sarah. On behalf of Senator Cardin and Senator Van Hollen and myself, I am honored to welcome all of you to the University of Maryland College Park as you heard, the flagship campus of the University of Maryland system from which I graduated. President Pines, thank you for inviting us to campus for this wonderful event. Over the past year, you have already shown yourself to be a great leader for this university in a time of challenge. We are so pleased to have you in, in the leadership. And as dean of the engineering school for the past decade, you demonstrated great ability in making this campus center of innovation and STEM learning. I'm sure that Jim Clark, when he gave uh, uh, such a generous gift to the university, thought of his investing in people like you and the people who work with you. Dean Breider, thank you for hosting us today at the Clark School and for continuing that legacy of prompting cutting-edge research and innovation in science and engineering here at Maryland. The University of Maryland College Park has become one of the great public universities in our country ranked 11th in the country among public colleges by Forbes magazine. Maryland is home to more than 40,000 students learning in 12 schools and colleges. It was listed as number three among public universities for undergraduate entrepreneurship. I have a, an agenda I call Make It in America, which is about entrepreneurship. That was done by the Princeton Review and ranked number 14 for research and development by the National Science Foundation. What incredible statistics, how proud we are of this university and this campus. Each year, the university sends its students to over 300 study abroad destinations and 14 students were named Fulbright Scholars, Mr. Secretary, in 2020, with more than 50 accepting full bike grants to continue their studies overseas. Last year, U.S. News and World Report ranked the Clark School as number 12 among public engineering schools, and it was in the top 10 for public aerospace and computer engineering programs. So, Mr. Secretary, you come to one of the quality institutions, not only in this country, but in the globe. It is no surprise why the University of Maryland College Park and Clark School of Engineering were chosen today as the venue for the Secretary of State to talk about American innovation and leadership in the world. When I was a student here, as I told somebody, our nation elected John F. Kennedy to steer our country through the crisis in the Cold War and refocus America's attention and resources in the mid-20th century to conquering the new frontier of science and space. In his inaugural address, President Kennedy declared, let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that, she, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe, in order to assure the survival and the success of liberty. And I would add to that free enterprise and entrepreneurship. Since that day, America has prospered when we have invested in our strength and training generations after generation of graduates to help our country and, indeed, the global community. Help them to compete and lead the global economy and promote our ideals of freedom and democracy around the world. President Biden is steeped in the experience of foreign policy, committed to restoring America's place of leadership, and understands that we must continue 
to empower those who have always been the instruments of our global leadership and success are talented young people. That has been his approach to restoring American leadership in the world. President Macron of France, upon meeting President Biden for the G12, uh, G7 summit in June said, quote, what you demonstrate is that leadership is partnership. America, Macron and other allied leaders declared, is back. As a matter of fact, after the election, Macron's uh, quote was, welcome back, America. Deeply engaged and expert in America's approach to the rest of the world, President Biden has selected someone as his chief diplomat who not only shares his deep knowledge and experience, but also his vision. Secretary Blinken has already served in many of the most senior foreign policy and national security roles in our country. He understands what it will take to make President Kennedy's words ring true and to carry out President Biden's mission to build America back better by ensuring that we can lead the world and the global economy in this century as a partner. He knows that it starts with young people, with talented graduates, with innovative research and, dis and discovery, and with a commitment to learning and teaching. So I'm honored and pleased to welcome Secretary Blinken, who I count as a dear friend, to a place where these are paramount, where students from Maryland, students from America, and students from around the world gather to dedicate themselves to the betterment of our country and our globe. And now I'm honored to turn it over to President Pines to welcome Secretary Blinken to the University of Maryland College Park, that he may join in the long tradition of American leaders choosing our campus to share their vision and call Americans forward to great endeavors. President Pines.